Trimming up your beard is the number one way of keeping it looking neat, but if you do not have time to trim or you don't have the confidence to trim up your beard, there are a number of ways to keep your beard neat without trimming. And in this video, we're gonna go through them. Some of them may surprise you. In fact, stay to the end because there is a very important difference between two products that I want you to know about. So this morning, I have only shampooed my beard. I have not done anything to it. There is no heat treatment in this beard. There are no products in this beard. And I'm gonna try to neaten it up as best I can without trimming up. All right then, so the first one is a little bit weird. It was actually shared to me by a guy that I meet while walking my dog. His name is Swaranjat, he's Sikh. And I asked him about his mustache. It was absolutely glorious. And it's very easy to do. So keeping your beard nice and neat without using anything other than a piece of material is really easy. So what he does is uh, he allows his beard to get wet. So I've got some water in front of me here and I'm just gonna make my beard nice and wet like I would normally do. Now you can, you know, you can do this in a shower, you can do this afterwards with just some water in a sink, whatever it is. But essentially what we're doing is we're putting water into the beard and that uh, breaks up some of the uh, hydrogen bonding on the sort of surface and slightly in the beard as it gets absorbed and it just kind of gives us a nice foundation. Now the thing is if I was just to let my beard dry after putting a little bit of moisture in it like this it re would return to exactly what it was like before but if you provide hold as it is drying it will stay in place. So my mustache I want to go to the side and I want these bits to be nice and flat and then I take a bit of fabric and Swaranjat swears by this while his beard is drying he masks himself up now pre-covid times this may be a bit weird you could even walk around now with this while your beard is drying but essentially he provides hold by putting this over his beard and his mustache so let's make sure that is out to the side I'm going to put this on my mustache and then hold down the sides by wrapping it around And you do this until your beard is nice and dry. And I've tried it and it does actually work. But I'm gonna share with you how I do it every single day without trimming, but I thought this one was absolutely worth sharing. Okay, if you don't wanna trim up your beard, your number one friend is heat. It comes in two versions in my house. The first one is a heated brush. Now, I've done a review on this heated brush. It's super cheap. I think it was like $6 from Amazon. Go check it out wherever that link goes. Um, but it's not my preferred method. So heat is really good because what it does is it heats up the hairs enough to break the hydrogen bonds in the hair. And then as it cools, as this bit cools, as you're passing over, the uh, tension from the beard comb is holding it straight and so it locks it in place. Now, I've used this and it kind of works, kind of doesn't. It's very hard to get reproducible effects on my beard with just a beard brush. So my favorite way of heating up my beard is with a good old fashioned hair dryer with a little adapter here just to make sure that it all goes directly onto my beard. Now, there's a number of ways that I do this. Let me show you how I keep it growing down and keeping it nice and neat. So normally my beard is wet, so I'm gonna give it another little bit of a, a brush with uh, water using my hands, work it through, make sure that it's, you know, not dripping, but it's at least a little bit damp. And then I use a comb and a high or medium heat setting on my hairdryer. So let's give that a go. All the time, I'm just brushing down and holding it in where I wanna go. Now, do not rush this. Let the heat actually affect the beard. Let the heat take effect. So hold the uh, heat on your beard a little bit longer than you think you should. Working all the way around onto the other side, get out those pesky knots. Now, what I wanna do is follow that up with, so I've done like a deep comb with a wide tooth comb. Now I'm brushing the outer layers of the hair. So using a high heat as well, I'm just sort of like gently pushing this over the top of my beard. Now, this is a trick that I learned 
only sort of like a couple months ago. While my beard is nice and warm and it's been brushed, I've got the this for getting out the knots, I've got this for kind of just tidying up the outside. The number one trick that I've learned is just use your hand to hold the beard in place. This works particularly well if you've got a longer beard, but literally just the same thing as before, drop the heat down to a medium so it can actually, you know, get the back of my hand without burning me and uh, just hold the beard flat as you're drying. And using your hand really just keeps those hairs tucked in. And the last thing is take off the heat and use a cool blast to kind of like lock the hairs in, in place. It's a nice thing. And one thing about the coolness of this is that you really feel the evaporation from the base of the beard where there is still moisture. So I keep using this cool setting until I no longer feel the coolness right on my skin. And this is particularly true if after a shower, for example, um, and yeah, I just keep going, cool setting. And I just keep that on until I no longer feel evaporation and the hair is nice and cool. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that my beard is much nicer already. Those flyaway hairs are completely tucked in. It's nice and uh, easy to keep your hair in a single direction by using a combination of wide tooth comb, soft comb, and then magic uh, uh, implement your hand. If this video is useful to you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and go check out beardgrowingpro.com. That's my website where I am on a mission to answer every single beard question that you have. Um, and now enjoy yourself and your beard. Go on, off you go. Okay, so one thing that all of those things don't address are the lines of the beard. And normally I would get in there with some scissors and trim them up, but there are some ways and some products that you can use to make sure that the lines here and here are nice and neat. So the first thing is, is that don't use beard butter or beard oil. Now these products will make your beard look awesome for about 20 minutes, but once they've absorbed into your beard, they're gonna no longer help you. There's no hold component. You need beeswax or some other kind of wax hold component. And so I've got two products that I use. First one is a beard balm. Now this is, um, what is it? It's uh, Viking Revolution, but I've also got Honest Amish one. I also make my own. More on that in a moment. Um, but essentially, this just allows you to not only hydrate your beard, but give you a little bit of hold because it's got a little bit of wax in it, which is perfect. That is the thing that's going to last a long time in your beard. So no trimming. And then, of course, because we can't do anything about the ends of the beards, working it into the ends, but I've got a little bit of a... Um, trick for that in a moment. All right, so there we are. That is the beard balm all over the beard. And it's gonna feel a little bit oily initially because that's all of the butters, all of the oils. They'll soak in over the next 20 minutes or so. And the wax will be the long lasting hold component of this um, process. And so I always give it a little bit of a touch up, just very lightly, just to make sure the product is well distributed throughout my beard. There we go, lovely, lovely. Now, here is my secret weapon. It's my DIY beard balm. The reason it's my secret weapon is because it is 50% beeswax. It is very, very tough compared to other stuff. Now, that's partly because I'm in Australia. I find that if I use um, a normal beard balm, it gets quite oily and waxy very easily because of the heat. This, on the other hand, remains a nice, hard solid. Now, if I want to neaten up the lines of my beard with just product, I use this one because it's got loads and loads of beeswax in it. So it takes a while to get some out. It'll take a little bit more time to kind of melt, but with the shea butter, with um, the oils that's in it, it's got a relatively low melting point. And so the, it will slowly kind of uh, heat up in my hands and there we have it. Now, I focus on the lines of my beard with this very wax heavy product. Here it goes in to the ends of my beard and I make sure that I'm kind of doing a twisting motion just to kind of make sure that I'm getting all of those hairs that are stuck 
out and then making sure that I run my hand just over the lines and I can start to feel where the line is, is uh, not even and there's hairs sticking out. So pushing my hand along the bottom, along here, and then I'm just teasing the hair in to make sure that there's no crazy flyaways. And I'll do the same on my mustache. So I'll get a little bit more wax and I'll just tease it through the bottom line of my mustache just to push it out of the way so that it's not tickling my lip. And this is a good way to kind of extend the time in between your trims. And already I can't feel as much on my lip and it's much easier to speak and talk and I'd be good for this for about a day. And I can always reapply this in the middle of the day if I want. So that is how Oh, I've got some flyaway hairs just here. Let's tackle that with some more of the heavy duty wax. And by the way, you can go check out how to make your own DIY super hold beard balm in my DIY video, wherever that goes, I always forget. But that's how you neaten up your beard without trimming. There's nothing you can do about these, but everything else there's a solution for. So there we have it. That's how you neaten up your beard without trimming. Remember that wetting your hair is the first important step. Using a hold method with a bit of material, using a hair dryer or other heat stuff just to make sure that your beard sits in the direction you want. Then follow up with products. First of all, beard balm it has to be used because it contains wax and then create your own really heavy beard wax uh, kind of, or you can buy mustache wax for the same effect and just tease that into the lines of the beard. Here it was the back for me was an issue just a moment ago, the lines of the beard under here and then move the mustache out of the way of the mouth using that heavy uh, hold product and you haven't even trimmed and you've got yourself probably another couple of days if not a week where you can do that and not have to touch your beard with trimmers or scissors. So there we have it. Remember to go check out beardgrowingpro.com and I shall see you in the next video.